19 businesses fall victim to identity theft every minute. And the average cost of these hacks globally? $3.79 million. But there's one simple step that you can take to make sure that you keep your data safe. And you can do it right now. I'm talking about multi-factor authentication. Now, MFA for short is a security measure for a login or transaction that requires multiple methods of authentication to verify a user's identity. In other words, it keeps people out of your shit. Now, there are many different techniques hackers use to gain access to your sensitive data. This is commonly known as phishing. Hackers will bypass and deceive password roadblocks by simply hacking in and pretending to be you. Because let's be honest, your password really isn't that great to begin with. And you're not the first person in the world to add one, two, three after your dog's name. So how do you stop it? Two-step authentication. Here, let me try to explain it. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Come on, man, let me in. No, no way. <laughs> All right, man. What? All right. Oh, look at this. A Miles professional right here. He could probably explain this a little bit better. What are you guys talking about? We're actually talking about multi-factor authentication and how important it is. So can you do us all a favor and show us how MFA works? So once you put in your password into whatever site or service you're logging into, you just uh, get either the wrong code off of your phone or some services will text you, send you a push notification. You just enter the code that you got on your phone and that's it, you're in. Well, that's all well and good, but I know I don't even really have time to be setting things up, so let alone the people watching. So, you know, is this a quick process? So for most services, uh, setting up super simple. You just walk through a couple of steps. It should take you no more than 10 minutes stops. It's a one-time setup, and then moving forward, it's just that extra code, and you're done. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Ryan. But this is my show, so if you get off. MFA protects you even if your password is compromised. Passwords are great, but to a hacker, just plain old weak. But that's okay. With your second step of authentication, I have a better shot of getting past that bouncer earlier than they do at getting to your data. It keeps your data and your money safe. By now, this is evident. USA Today reported that 61% of hacks last year were on small businesses, and over half of them went out of business within six months. And finally, it's something you can do right now. Most of the accounts your company uses, like Microsoft, Google, Apple, etc., they offer an option for MFA. So it's as simple as going into your security settings and turning it on right now. So speak to your IT professional or contact an IT company today. I actually know of a pretty good one. And by the end of the day, you can be safe and happy. And isn't that all we really want in this world? Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all things technology. And while you're at it, take a look at some of our other videos.